What's up everybody, it's Kajal Fan back for another video. Today in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and my reactions and takeaways to a wild card weekend, and I'm going to be breaking down every single game. If you're new to the channel and you just discovered one of the most underrated YouTubers out there, which is me, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Basically, all I do is um, NFL videos, NBA videos, and sometimes Marvel content and Star Wars content. So yeah. The first game of Wild Card Weekend that I want to talk about is the Cincinnati Bengals beating the Las Vegas Raiders 26-19. to I got this game prediction right. I did predict the Bengals to win. Um, I thought this was going to be a little more of a high-scoring game, but it was literally like a field goal show and a defensive stand down towards the end of the game. The offense for Cincinnati was balling. The defense was kind of struggling, but not really. It came up big towards the end. It came up really, really big towards the end. And props to Cincinnati. You guys finally get to send that text message to that that you guys finally won a playoff game for the first time in 31 years. So congrats to Cincinnati. Um, and here's what Joe Burrow literally had to say about the win. Like he said, that's cool. Like he said, like that's the standard. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, this isn't even the standard. The standard is the Super Bowl. You know, so Cincinnati wants to win a Super Bowl. They're hungry for one. Let's see if they can get it. As for the Raiders, I got to give you guys props. I'm not going to roast you guys for losing. Props to Derek Carr. Props to Rich Basaka, the head coach. You guys went through so much trauma, and like five or six of your players are in jail. And um, John Gruden has so many like racist emails and shit, and he got fired. And I, I can't even like, th like describe how many how much adversity you guys went through and the fact that you guys even made the playoffs props and respect to you guys. Now you guys move on into the off season, respect to the Raiders and respect to the Bengals Bengals move on. Then we move on to the next game and fun fact, the only game that I predicted wrong this week, and I'm actually very embarrassed to predict this game wrong. It is the bills demolishing the Patriots 47 to 17 Patriots fans. You guys should be embarrassed. I'm even embarrassed for even picking you guys to win this game. What was that effort? I mean, nobody looked like they were trying on that team. Bill Belichick, this this one looked very, very ugly for you. I don't know if it hurts your legacy or not, but this one looked so ugly. Um, Mac Jones looked like the only one who was trying out there. And, I mean, this was horrendous. I mean, the Bills didn't punt a single time. They were scoring and scoring and scoring and scoring. I don't know what made me think that you guys were going to win this game, but that was an absolute abysmal performance. Bill Belichick says he's coming back next year, though, so who knows? You, maybe you guys can bounce back. But this year, let's be honest, the Bills once again owned that division. A phenomenal win for the Bills. As for the Patriots, I got this game wrong. I thought the Patriots were going to win. Patriots, this looks really bad on your record, but I mean, shit. This is the playoffs. You guys got to move on now. You guys got to move on to the offseason. And um, yeah, the next game was between the Bucks and the Eagles. I predicted the Bucks to win, and I think all of America predicted the Bucks to win. Uh, they won thirty-one to fifteen. This game was not as close as the score says it is. It felt like it was like fifty to nothing. Eagles, you guys, if you guys even played good football, you guys played below average. You guys played. Pretty bad football. If you guys even played good football, you guys would have been in this game and might have even won. There's nothing too impressive that the Bucks did this weekend. All they did is just stick to the game plan and did what they're supposed to do. They didn't do anything miraculous, and they still came out with a dub. It says something about what team Tampa Bay is, but it also says about what bad of a team Philly is. I mean... You guys didn't beat a single playoff team this year on your regular season schedule. And people like to blame Jalen Hurts for this loss, and I wouldn't go that far. Yes, he didn't play bad, but it was reported after the game that he had a fracture in his foot, which kind of doesn't make any sense because why is he even running around? But it is what it is. He's getting x-rays. He he left the game in a boot, so um, uh, hopefully he's doing fine. But anyways... Stick with Jalen Hurts. Stick with your whole game plan. You guys made the playoffs this year. I mean, I guess it's something to celebrate, even though you guys got obliterated. But um, GG's, Bucks move on. Then the 49ers come into the Dallas Cowboys house and pull off the upset. This 
game proves that the 49ers are dark horse Super Bowl contenders. And it also proves many other things. How bad of a coach Mike McCarthy is. And as a Packers fan, how glad I am that Mike McCarthy isn't on isn't coaching my team anymore. Because oh my goodness, the Cowboys are probably one of the most undisciplined teams and defenses that I've ever seen. Holding, 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 holding. I mean, I was getting sick of how many flags I was hearing. And without all those flags, you guys most definitely would have won that game. And the offense was having trouble moving the ball. Uh, the defense was not looking too good. I mean, it was starting to pull along towards the end of the game and the defense held up. But, I mean, the Cowboys are a mess. And, you know, you guys don't pay your players that much just to go out in the first round. And you guys aren't the Dallas Cowboys winning the NFC East and all that kind of stuff just to go out in the first round. No, no disrespect to the 49ers. The 49ers are a very, very good team. And, by the way, I'll talk about the 49ers in a second. But, for, uh, Dallas, you guys got to do better than that. And you guys got to do better than that last play call whenever you guys called a, two, a QB draw with, uh, what was it, like 15 seconds left remaining and no timeouts. Wow. Wow. And the refs also got out of the way, so I don't really know who to blame it on. But if you guys never called that play, that would have never happened. So learn to call plays better, okay? As for the 49ers, Jimmy G is your make or break guy. Packers. My Packers team is versing the 49ers next week, and I'm, I'm feeling confident because it's at home, and it's going to be the frozen tundra and everything, and I'm going to talk about that game in another video, but uh, Jimmy G almost threw this game away, essentially, with that interception, so uh, he needs to be better, but uh, Fred Warner uh, almost got injured. Hopefully, he's doing better. I, I'm pretty sure he's good to go for um, next Saturday. And um, hopefully Nick, Nick Bosa is also doing good. But overall, great win for the 49ers. Then we have the Chiefs beating the Steelers on Sunday Night Football. This was a closed game for the first quarter. And then Big Ben Roethlisberger really played like it was his retirement party. And he looked like he genuinely didn't belong out there. The Steelers' defense was playing phenomenal towards the beginning of the game. But uh, then they just got exhausted, and um, this is what happens when your offense can't move the ball. The defense gets tired, and then the whole team collapses. So um, Chiefs, they looked explosive towards the end, which basically every, almost almost every team that won this wild card weekend looks explosive and looks very, very good to go for next week. So next week's matchups are going to be insane. But um, Steelers, congratulations on making the playoffs. But um, you know, this was another this was another second versus seventh seed game that didn't look so good. But uh, Rams versus the Cardinals. Now I was expecting this to be a close game. I thought everybody was, but it was the exact opposite. Um, Kyler Murray. I just want to say real quick, genuine like person to person thing. That was horrendous. That pick six, especially throwing it out of your end zone, panicking on the safety. That just oh, that looked. God awful. And then I just want to talk about Cliff Kingsbury for a second. I think he said in an interview that um, he would be making more money if he did real estate instead of coaching than stick to real estate because you are not a good coach. Cliff Kingsbury, you need to be fired. You need, uh, you need to be at least demoted or something. I, I don't know what it is, but um, the Cardinals, you know what vibes I'm getting? I'm getting the 2020 Steelers in the 2021 Cardinals frauds. Frauds, first round exits. That's exactly what happened with the Cardinals. It's unfortunate to see it happen. I even if even if DeAndre Hopkins uh, came in this game, I don't think it would have saved y'all. By the way, prayers up to Buda Baker. Genuinely, all jokes aside, all everything aside, prayers up to Buda Baker. But anyways, let's just talk about the Rams for a second. All I got to say about the Rams: very impressive performance, very good performance for the Rams. But this is how everybody was expecting the Rams to play um, all season long. And it took your first wild card win to show it. Your midseason additions like Von Miller and Odell Beckham Jr. they paid off in this game. Fun fact: Odell Beckham Jr. is the highest graded pro, pro football focus wide receiver of this wild card weekend. So, um, not to mention Matthew Stafford. He didn't even throw the ball that much. Um, Cam Akers, because Cam Akers and Sony Michelle were running it like crazy. But whenever he was throwing the ball. 
it was looking on point. He was he was connecting with his receivers, and um, this was overall a great team win. Not to mention that Rams defense playing absolutely phenomenal. So uh, this is exactly what the Rams need to actually carry on momentum and make a good playoff run and um, beat the Buccaneers next week. But um, yeah, Rams win thirty four to eleven. But anyways, then there were eight teams left remaining in the playoffs. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be predicting the rest of the um, and previewing the rest of the playoffs right here on this channel. Stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching and stick around for my next videos. Um, Boba Fett episode four is dropping tonight. So Star Wars fans, I'm going to be dropping that uh, review tomorrow and breakdown, but I'm out. Peace.